Hello, today we're going to be installing R plus R Studio on Ubuntu 12.04, 14.04, or 16.04. So the first thing we have to do is open a terminal. Uh, you can do Control alt t uh, to open a terminal, or you can just go to dash home and type terminal. Um, I'm also going to go through the differences between the different installations um, for the different versions of Ubuntu. And basically it's the same thing, um, but I will also provide the code uh, in case you're a little nervous or you just want to um, install this as a bash script. So um, the version I have is 12.04. However, I will tell you where to change the code in exact places. It's basically one place. <laughs> so the first thing we have to do um, before we install R um, we basically need to add the key to the Ubuntu archives on CRAN, um, and that's this first line over here. So if you don't understand what this is, this is basically um, someone's key and the person who manages this. So basically, I'm doing a sudo command. I have to type in my password. Um, the next thing we have to do, um, this is uh, different for different Ubuntu versions. And essentially, because I'm using Ubuntu 12.04, I have precise here. And if I was using 14.04, it would be trusty right over here. If I was using 16.04, it'd be Xenial over here. So what this line is over here, it basically just um, changes um, a file on Ubuntu called sources.list. And this just basically is needed uh, to let your system know uh, where to get the files um, from CRAN. It's, you specify a, a CRAN mirror. And if you're not sure which CRAN mirror you want, um, there's a link that I will provide that goes through all the different CRAN mirrors across the world. Um, if you're in the USA, I'd recommend USA. But you can probably also try you know, Thailand or Taiwan or whatever you like. I haven't tried it, but I'm sure it would work. Um, so I chose um, Indiana University, I think, and I'm going to copy this and enter into the terminal. Okay. So I added that um, because I changed I changed a file. Um, it's a good idea to update, and the reason we do this is we change the file. Um, if we want a new package or you want to use what we basically just appended to the file, we have to let the computer know of it, basically. Um, it's more complicated than that, but for this, it's fine. Um, the next thing we're going to do once this is finished is we're actually going to install R, okay? Um, and these processes can take a little bit of time, especially if you haven't updated a computer in a while. So. Uh, I'm just going to wait and go over it. So I'm copying and pasting. So I installed rbase. Uh, for a lot of users, this is generally enough. However, I think it's really good to be able to uh, install packages in our console. And if you install rbase dev, um, it allows you to do that. And for this tutorial, I recommend it. Um, I have to press yes to install R. And one second. I should also note all the scripts are on my GitHub. Um, I'm probably going to also put something on our bloggers if this is useful to people. So now installing our base dev. Okay, everything's fine. Um, instead of using app get install um, for the actual installation of uh, my dev file for our studio, um, I'm going to install something called a GW core. And what GW allows you to do 
is because we download RStudio off the internet, uh, GW uh, allows you to install the dependencies for a local file. So this next step over here, we're actually downloading RStudio. Um, this might change over time, but you'll still get a pretty good version of RStudio. And you can always um, go to RStudio and pick out a, a newer version. So right now it's downloading. Um, and this next step over here is, is the actual installation. And if my computer looks a little laggy, it's because I'm making the video. So next thing is installation. And it's going. You have to say yes to install. I should also note that if you have questions, please leave a comment. Um, I'm pretty available. Um, you can also email me, but I would prefer a comment on, on YouTube uh, or some blog that's posted somewhere else. So the reason why I have this next line here, remove rstudio.deb, is if you look um, in my current directory, I have the dev file here, but I've already installed it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the dev file because I don't need it anymore. Um, this is optional. You can keep the dev file there if you feel comfortable with that um, because I'm not going to use it again. I delete it. So the next thing we have to do is actually test that R in our studio um, was downloaded and installed properly. So I'm going to open our studio um, and it'll take a second. And the way I usually test this is by installing a package. Um, it tests that I have uh, CRAN working properly and I set up our studio. So um, I'm going to install DevTools because it's pretty useful. Okay. Oops. There we go. And DevTools. And it's checking. Um, DevTools is not available, so I'm going to try something else. Um, let's try a uh, data table. I am a data scientist and I find it to be useful. So it looks like our installation went well. I have installed data table. Um, if you have a question, please comment and please remember to subscribe.